Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Josh, and uh, today I've got something exciting here in the box that I'm going to open and demonstrate. And uh, there's really two key uh, things I'm going to talk about today. One, I just want to do a shout out to True Work, uh, the uh, technical performance wear for outdoor people. Highly recommend you check it out. I'll leave a link. But what I'm really here to talk about today is my friends at Gear Hall, and we've talked about the Saw Hall before. They started with the saw hall complete and then they moved on to the snap lock system which allows a lot of modularity um, and that's pretty cool so um, we've showed it on the tractor we've showed it on the side by side and basically you've got the ability to pivot these things and clip out and add modular components so i'm going to set the chainsaw inside all right so i mentioned my chainsaw leaking i've, I've looked at a couple things on uh, like chicanic and um steve's uh small engine saloon i think it is i love their channels a lot of very helpful stuff for small engines and they had some tips on there but if you've got ideas on how to stop that bar oil from leaking out could you leave me a comment down below and uh, let me know your thoughts so we've got the scabbard off i'm going to set that over here out of the way check out what we have in our box here compliments of the folks at gear hall formerly known as saw hall because they're expanding their product line so they've changed their name to gear hall if you're not familiar with them uh, they are based out of i want to say kansas all right okay so we have another piece of the snap lock system that's going to come right on here pop right in one of the other things on the snap lock is it does rotate as well if you have a longer scabbard or whatever so that's going to lock in and then we've got this which is the bucket hall. And it looks like I've got a bolt that I need to install here. So let's do that real quick, just by hand. So that's when you're storing it and you just have a little clip here. So what that's going to allow is the bucket hall. And I wanna say in his demo video I saw he had like 40 pounds of stuff in there. So you might be familiar with some of my past content where I've complained about not having a place to carry big tools. When I go to the back side of the property, I'm probably 20 minutes away by tractor if something happens. That's a walk out, get my side by side, drive back in. Now I got two vehicles to get back. So. I may use that as a toolbox at some points in time. Pretty cool. I mean, whatever you want to carry in there. I got some gloves here. Throw my gloves in there. You can put six packs of soda in here, milk, yogurt. You can put candy bars, anything that you want to keep. Tripod. As a YouTuber, I got all kinds of camera gear, and I hate carrying it in the in the bucket, and I hate trying to balance it in here. So um, that's probably. What I'll do is carry some of my camera gear in here when I go out. Pretty nice. That comes right back out. If you want to stow it, drop that back down. And there you go. So uh, thanks to the folks at uh, Gear Hall. Uh, formerly saw hall for my bucket hall and you might be thinking well what about my chainsaw where am i going to put it now stay tuned i think they've got a uh, some ideas on how they're going to solve the overall problem about how do i get all of my gear where i'm going so um, check it out i'll leave a link in the description i've got a five percent discount at gearhall.com and i'm not sure if these are available on amazon yet or not but when i have that uh, link. I do have a link for all of their stuff for 5% off with an Amazon link and I'll include that as well. But um, yeah, we've bought a lot of gear from them uh, because of uh, our backgrounds in product management. They've decided to start sending us some of their test stuff. So this is fresh on the market and uh, good quality welds. Everything's very nice. I really do like the snap lock system. So uh, I recommend you check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.